What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, RJ Car Review. I'm your boy Ricky. Before I go any further into this video, I just want to say I hope all you guys, your family, everybody's staying safe, healthy while this whole crazy COVID-19 shit blows over. I've been home for a couple of days. When it all started to happen, um, I was still working, man. And unfortunately, someone at another company who's related to that person that worked with me got it and uh, they shut my job down uh, for safety precautions um, and like I'm home now you know I've been home for the last I think four days I think four four to five days I've been home um, before they could give us to go ahead to go back to work but I'm staying safe I'm healthy my family's healthy hope all you guys family's healthy um, it's, this shit is scary. This shit is scary, man. Um, whoever thought something like this, something like this could happen to our country. Um, once, once everything is said and done, uh, I hope I still have a job at the end of the day. Got to keep a roof over my family's head. Got to keep the heat on. And for all my fun activities, like my Shelby, you know what I'm saying? I will hope that I won't, I won't have to sell it. But worst case scenario, you know, priorities at first is family, but you know. This shit could always come second. But for now, hope everybody's good, doing well. So in this video, I finally, I'm finally gonna change my license plate um, to a real license plate holder. Um, I've had this for a couple weeks now, and the weather's just been sucking. The weather's been horrible. Everything that's going on, is just, I just wasn't motivated to do anything. Um, and I was with my wife, she was like, you just gotta go out there and start doing your thing again. And honestly, like, like I said, man, I wasn't motivated at all to do nothing. And the weather wasn't on our side, so that's that made me even for, made me even feel less motivated. So today, I'm going to install. This is a license plate holder, and it doesn't drill into the uh, bumper. I'm actually going to figure how the hell to put this thing on. Let's see what the directions are. And I got this off of eBay. It was fairly cheap. I think it was like $60 or something like that. And I actually saw it in another, another Shelby GT350 when I went to one of those meets. Um, and it actually looked pretty good. So I finally decided to take off, take off my um, double-sided tape. A lot of people have been asking me how I did this. This is done with double-sided tape. And um, it's been on the car since I purchased the car. So going on two years, no issues. <laughs> Going through water, going through rain, everything, and no issues with it. Still stuck on there, and it's gonna be probably a little difficult to get off. So I got my handy, dandy blow dryer to take it off, uh, and then I'm gonna install this. All right, so guys, that's what the plate looks like now, um, and it's like I said, held on by double-sided tape. You can see this is the reason why it's bent like this is because I. When I put it on first, I decided to take it off and it held so good that I couldn't get it off. Uh, so I just left it on and that's why it's bent. Originally it was flush to the bumper like this um, and I tried taking it off and it wouldn't come off so I just left it on. So that's what I... So there you go, there you have it guys. This is what I, I had on it before. It was a double-sided tape. Um, and like I said, this held on for almost two years. No issues, water, everything. Um, staying outside in the cold, heat, whatever it was, and it held on pretty good. Um, it just didn't look correct on the car. Um, and that's the reason why I decided to change it. Honestly, I hate front license plates. And obviously we live in New York, so New York, requires us to have a front license plate. Um, a lot of people, places I go, they don't really bother you, but where I work, they give you tickets if you park on the white line. Oh my God, the where I work, man, is ridiculous amount of tickets they give out over there. So I have to have it for where I work, the parking lot I park in, I have to have a front license plate. If I didn't work there, I wouldn't care to have a front license plate on my car. All right, so let me clean this all up, show you guys what it looks like. So, 
pretty much that's what it looks like. I'm gonna clean that all up and then install the new um, front plate. You can kind of see, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's starting to just peel right off. That's with my hand, it's just peeling right off. Just peeling it off. You guys can see that, right? You can see that? Yeah. So it peels right off with your hand. And it's always good to have goom on with you, man. Always. Break down, get all of that gunk crap all over, off of it. Alright guys, so let me show you what's in, what comes in the package. This is obviously the license plate holder. This is what it looks like. Um, it mounts uh, pretty much like this. Mount, it mounts pretty low on the bumper, like right in here, it mounts, and that's where the license plate is gonna sit. Uh, it comes with, it comes with a couple of screws, and also they give you a hex key, which is um, very good. So I don't have to go looking for the right size hex key, but I have a lot of hex key. Um, and it says it should take about approximately 10 minutes to put on, so let's see. My first time doing this. I never saw any videos on how to do it, so first time actually doing this. Um, and let's see what happens. I'll show you guys, because my head might be cut off in this video. I'm using my iPhone, because my damn GoPro is completely dead. And um, didn't have time to charge it. I want to just make this video and get back inside and, you know, back to my homeschooling. Because that's what I'm doing now. i, I got to say one thing, man. I've always given teachers respect. I've always given teachers respect. But now that I'm homeschooling three kids, bro, I give all teachers 100% more respect, man. I've always respected teachers. Always. Always. Don't get me wrong. Always respected teachers. But now that I'm homeschooling, bro, I respect these teachers out here, man. I respect what they do. Always did. And I respect that even more now. So shout out to all the teachers out there. All right, if you guys and you guys know any teachers that you're teaching yourself, I respect you. Okay, guys, I'm trying to get the best shot possible um, on how to install this thing, but I think I can. I think I can. So basically, you have these screws here, and you have to find the center line. Oh, you guys can see the center line which is easy because we have the stripe on the car and pretty much that's my center line on the bumper that's my center line right there oh god hope you guys can see that yeah you guys can see that right so that's the center line going right down between the e the l all right um move it over like this that's the center line and we have these little nuts like this so you guys can see that so these nuts go actually go in here first like this and it grabs in between the grill and then once you start to screw it then goes like let's see if you guys can see that it's like that and it grabs against the bumper and then it holds it and you screw it in all right this is a great concept man i'm telling you this is actually much better than the shit that i had going on over there um and I've seen other one on the internet. There's ones that kind of come underneath here and it covers the front and it sticks up like this and it cover your whole Shelby. You know, just defeat the purpose of a nice front bumper like I have. These Shelbys, man, they look so good from the front. They look so mean and aggressive. And I, only, I didn't want anything to really disrupt the look and beauty of this front end. That's why I had the license plate over here because I just didn't want to just disrupt all this sexiness that was going on there. And um, kind of think the way this is gonna uh, look. It's the best looking license plate holder, drillless license plate holder I've seen so far. So um, I'm hoping that it looks good. So far it looks good, but you know when you put this big ass ugly license plate on, it's gonna look crazy. 
and the license plate does not touch the bumper at all. Has a nice little clearance in the bumper. Um, pretty sturdy. Pretty sturdy, man. So that's the finishing touch, guys. You can see that. That's the finishing touch. Pretty sturdy. Uh, pretty sturdy. Can't talk. Pretty sturdy. Um, I think it looks good. Much better than my side plate, but you know, didn't really want anything. Uh, I think it's kind of crooked. Oh shit, it looks crooked. I got more space on this, on this side, on this side. I can go over that away some. Ah, oh, whatever, man. Jeez. Yeah, it definitely can. I can see it. See the, the map should be like right in the middle, like right there, going down the middle. So it is kind of crooked. I don't want no crooked plate coming down somebody's bumper. Like, damn, that person had a crooked license plate on his Shelby. But finally done. Cause I had a cup of my plate, right? <laughs> finally done. License plate holder on. I mean, yeah, guys, I already saw my plate how many times, so. License plate holder on, license plate back in business, not on the front side again. Um, it's better than the other ones I've seen. You can still see my Shelby sign. Get my legs out of the way. You can still see my Shelby sign. Um, I think it looks good. Definitely doesn't compliment the bumper, but it's better than nothing, man. All right, so that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, man, like, subscribe, comment, um, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.